right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Mom JK, we are here. <laughs> we are here uh, at your, your chicken farm. Yes. Okay, so, so what's, what's happening here with these chickens here? Yeah, we have new chicks, uh, 2,600 uh -huh. chicks there. This is day four, ne? Yeah. yeah, this is day four for these tiny babies. I think they're even less than 100 grams. Maybe wow. for uh, 60, 70 grams. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so, so this, is, this is basically, so you said it's day four? Day four, so they're still in a brooder where we keep them warm. And then as they grow, they contain space. As they grow, we'll move them. Uh, for this number of this size of chickens or chicks, they can fill the whole space up to maybe where you see those boxes. Because uh -huh. this is a 4,000 capacity holder. This but, is 4,000 capacity? Yeah, but this is half. OK. Yeah. So you are doing 2,000 uh, for this cycle? Yes. OK. Two so there's 2.6. 2.6? Yeah. Okay, wow. So, it's, But it seems like an intensively involved process, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing everything. I, just, I see there are lights here, are there heaters. Uh, I'm seeing, uh, you know, water source and everything. Just take us through how do you, uh, how do you, like, effectively uh, brood them from this stage? Mm. Hey, broiler chicks are a very complex type of, uh, it's a very complex breed. You need to take care of them like babies. Mm. I remember they just came out of the egg uh, four or five days ago. And in the egg, there is a temp certain temperature in there. So when they go out, they need to be kept in, uh, on, on day one, especially on arrival, yeah, they need to be placed in a place where the temperature is probably 35 to 37 degrees. Mm. Then as they adjust to the temperature outside the egg, then the temperature will drop, but uh, temperature and ventilation is very important for, for chicks or chickens. Uh, your ventilation has to be good and your temperature has to be good. Eventually, the temperatures will go down to normal. If it's very hot, like now, if it was very hot, uh, you can reduce the heat. These lights that you see are in infrared lights. They generate mm. heat that keeps the, the chicks warm. So they have their food and they have their water. From day one, it depends, because every farm has got their own experience. So on day one, uh, when, they, when they arrive, you must put them, uh, you give them stress pack, some they give sugar solution, just for them to relax and get a bit of energy. And then uh, there are some, I don't know whether I should call them medicines, but there are some things that you give them, like maybe electrolytes and, uh, Stress pack, it's got all, it's like multivitamins or vitamins, water soluble things. Then on day 10, you vaccinate them against Newcastle. Day 14, you give them a uh, Gamboro vaccine. Day 18, Gamboro vaccine. Day 21, you also give them Newcastle. Then you've prevented them from the major attacks. There's also a major disease that, at, that attacks, or that is commonly found in uh, broilers. It's coccidiosis. Uh, you must always have a backup of your medicine or your treatment bucket, whereby if they are attacked, you give them a sulfur-based uh, medication, especially when they get um, coccidiosis. As you can see, it's clean and neat here. Uh, the, the bedding or the floor where they are now needs to be dry at all costs. It needs to be dry. Nobody wants to sleep in a wet bed. Even when now you cannot sleep in a wet bed. Mm. It also applies to, to these tiny little babies. But as you can see, they're actually growing. They can, the size of this space they are in is getting smaller, meaning the space might need to be increased probably in the next four or five days. Wow. Yeah. So in terms of these uh, 2,600, so after that uh, day 21, you say that's where you have, uh, that's the most critical time. It's not really critical. You just vaccinate. It's just like me taking a flu vaccine. There's mm. nothing clinical. I'm just presenting, preventing myself from uh, getting flu. Or you, these ones, you prevent them from getting a Newcastle disease. But there are other things. When you give them vaccines, you also give them with 
suspect. There are other things that they need to get, like there's a chart that you follow. Um, give them a page and 40. What else were not talent? Ore grow. Ore grow. Page and 40. There are things that you give them so that, just like your baby, you must nourish them, give them all the right things so that they grow. Okay, all right. So, so, so in terms of uh, the feed at this size? Uh, generally, I'm a brailers, they eat one and a half bags. It depends also, one and a half or one bag per hundred. Mm. So this is uh, 2,600, so you need 26 bags of starter according to the book, but it's better to give them more, more days of starter than the, the standard one. That's why I was saying that every farmer has got their own experience. So instead of giving them 26, you can give them 30 bags of starter. Wow. And then you give them that, that, then they graduate from being babies. Then they start having their grower. Grower normally it's about six, seven bags of grower per hundred. Mm -hmm. Then when that is done, then you can give maybe maybe one or two bags of finisher per hundred. But it depends also on when, on when you want to sell them. Some people, they want to sell them at four weeks. It depends on the market. Live market working customers, they want them big. So the bigger their chicken is, the more money you pay, because the inputs are too much. Feed alone is expensive. Wow. Uh, chicks alone, they are expensive. All these other things that you give them, it's expensive. The time, when they are small like this, they are under a 24-hour guard, mm. especially day one to day seven. You have to be up checking them because sometimes they cuddle, they want to keep home and they die. Mm. And also, um, when there's no electricity, I think we have challenges with load shedding. You have to have backup in terms of light. Somebody has to be in here, make sure they are not... Wow. Yeah. No, that's amazing. So at which, at what point are you going to, oh, so this, this is the brooder. Yeah, this is the brooder. All right, this is the brooder. So you can just make it in your own, like in your own place. Mm. Like you can make a portion of your, your original uh, chicken run. Yeah. Chicken house. Yeah, you can, as long as, like here you see, curtains are closed. There is not too much yeah, heat ventilation. moving out. Mm. It is contained in here. But you find out in two weeks time, we'll start opening these curtains. Mm. We'll roll them down because they'll need to get ventilation. Wow, no, yeah. that's, that's, that's amazing. Then you open it up at what age? Open what? Uh, the, the space for the This chicken. space needs to be changed, probably in day seven or day eight. You need to, to move them maybe to have this space. Every week you must, because when they grow, they contain more space. Oh, so every week you'll be opening it up mm. for them. Okay. Wow. Uh, so I see you are right in time for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, this is this batch. The target is Christmas. Uh, target is uh, target market is for Christmas. There are people. Last year I had some people who did stock fail. Remember those police people? They they put money together from January up to a time where they wanted to share whatever they have saved. They do beef pork. They have beef in their budget when they share. They have chicken. So they come. They'll take two, three, or five hundred. Then they share amongst themselves. Mm, mm. Then they have food to sustain them wow. while they are paying school fees. So it's like they are buying and putting <laughs> mm. aside. 